tonight I want to spend time on holiness when God began to establish a relationship with Israel whom he called his firstborn the nation Israel he told Moses to tell them to be holy any any life any home any city any nation that does not have boundaries will be in trouble so God give them boundaries by which if they follow they can be begin to look like him and be holy but in our own days we now have Jesus Christ because Israel failed God wanted Israel to be holy a special people unto him he taught them how to worship they are the only ones who knew the Yahweh God Jehovah God others did not know him until Jesus came paid the ultimate uh, uh, sacrifice and made access for us to be reconciled to God so as believers the Lord expects us to be holy set apart for his own use for a special rela relationship because without holiness no man can see God and so Satan from beginning has been fighting to make sure that these ones will not be holy these ones will not see God these ones will not enjoy God but God desires to communicate his holiness to us the communicable and incommunicable attributes of God communicable means he can he can he can make it available to you one of the communicable attributes is holiness incommunicable is for example immortality God cannot die but we will die he doesn't give us that one is incommunicable and his desire is that we will be as holy as he is and that holiness comes from obeying him working with him doing the doing things that please him so Satan wants to destroy that relationship and I'll mention about four things or five if there's time that he will use number one there's something in this new age I hope you know there's a, a new world system that they are propagating for the past 10 15 20 years number one thing that he uses to scatter this holiness is what is called relativism relativism it means it is relative nothing is absolute there's no right and there's no wrong yeah, it depends on how you see it that's what the new age is teaching please pay attention that's where the world is going that's where we are oh no dear look you are taking this your christianity too far it's just the way you see it god god only looks at the heart it makes you begin to doubt the authority of the almighty god it's difficult to say white or black life is no longer white or black i think you know they are now what they call gray areas number two thing that the devil is trying to use to 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 scuttle our being made holy to deceive christians is tolerance <laughs> you begin to tolerate you know things you say oh it's a modern world uh, you, you are too conservative that's the language they speak in america now say oh these are the conservatives you are too conservative life is no longer like that uh, uh, don't be too uh, don't take a hard line uh, tolerate this thing uh, show love to others uh, don't, 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 don't judge them if somebody says homosexual uh, is the way God made him show him love somebody say far 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 tolerance prayerlessness a little tramadol here a little cocaine uh, yeah, it's okay I mean uh, it doesn't deserve a, a little whiskey here uh, you just need those things to you know, make yourself feel all right you cannot take cocaine or whiskey or be soaking yourself in beer and you think that the spirit of god will dwell in you you are deceiving yourself so from relativism because they say there's no absolute don't 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 be too extreme then the devil wants us to begin to tolerate some things tolerate indecent dressing women will give us all manner of excuses for exposing their body when Adam and Eve said they were naked the first thing God did was to cover them up and say so somebody will be telling me now that well the, uh, 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 any man who cannot take his eyes off me he should control himself you are going to explain that to God if you, if you make a man to fall I'm not condemning you all of us are teaching ourselves because me I have my problem and Holy Ghost will help me to be holy so I'm not condemning but number three thing is contextualization he said it depends on the context. Contextualization means that we present the gospel according to our own culture. He said, no, you know, the culture of that time was different. 
But this culture here now is another culture. It's different. That's contextualization. See, in this context, this scripture may not apply. Have you heard that kind of argument before? Don't be deceived by the message of hyper grace. Oh, Jesus has done everything. You don't need to do anything. It is a lie. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. You are holy. You don't defile it. But the things you eat, the things you, you watch, things you say, things you do, fornication, adultery. Number three is liberty. Liberty. These are threats to holiness. Weapons of the devil. Liberty says all the law of God has been abolished by grace. You see, you're no longer expected to bother about all those things. Don't do this uh, commandment. Grace has covered it all. Yet, Jesus said, if you love me, do what? Obey my commands. Romans 6, 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? What do we, what's the answer, brethren? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? But somebody will tell you, don't worry, grace has covered it. So it's within your power. It's your decision. It's your responsibility. That's part of personal leadership. So he's saying here now, henceforth, we should not serve sin. You decide not to serve sin. The last one now, number five or six, is legalism. The opposite of liberty. You know, some people say everything is free. Just, he's done everything. Grace has covered. But then there's legalism. Those of us who are holier than thou, we are always watching for this brother. When they were praying, I saw this man. He was looking around. May the Lord have mercy on you. I saw you, the way you were smiling. You are smiling too much. When pastor is preaching a very serious message, what are you smiling about? You should be weeping. Legalism. This sister came to church. She didn't wear a scarf. Legalism. And they create more rules and regulations. Even the one God did not create. And they expect you to obey those rules before you can make it to heaven. No. Making it to heaven is by the blood and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Let's not be too legalistic. Let's stand on our feet and just pray for a minute or two from what you heard. Ask the Lord for help. Grace. Open your mouth and say, Father, thank you for your word tonight. I ask for grace tonight grace the spirit of discernment for me to separate the truth from the lies give me the grace to walk with God give me the grace to say no to the things of this world give me the grace to be separated unto God holy and acceptable Holy Spirit purge my heart deal with my motives deal with my emotions Holy Ghost deal with my feelings Help me just to please God. In any way I've associated myself with the things of the world, Lord, by your mercy, separate me unto yourself. Wash me, cleanse me, make me whole. In Jesus' name we have prayed.